Hey guys, super excited. Things are opening up back here in France. Um, restaurants and bars have been closed since November, so everyone is super excited to go out and have a drink on the terrace. I'm super, super excited. Um, this is the first weekend, so I know it's gonna be pretty busy, but I'm just so excited to see France being lively and hearing everybody speak the French language and laughing, so let's go. crowded everywhere like every table is taken so we're actually headed to a wine bar um, Paul has been there before and met the owners I think one of them is from um, America so hopefully she's there so I can meet her and I know they sell vegan cheese there as well so I'm super excited about that sad we just got here and they're actually closed so this is not gonna work I don't know where we're gonna have a drink but it's not gonna be here so it'll have to be next time something really manly like a beer <laughs> or a delicate cappuccino I don't know I'm Do torn order, like, a cocktail? cocktail I don't know probably not they don't have that on the on the menu but I'm sure if you like order a, I don't know like a Manhattan they know how to do it I'm not sure all right our first drink on the terrace since November of 2021 <laughs> Cheers. So there's um, the church bells right now. I believe someone just got married. Um, they're all taking photos over there. How pretty, I wanna see the bride and groom. Right here behind me is a boulangerie and they have a little cannelé which is like a specialty from Bordeaux. It's a little pastry with uh, tons of sugar and butter. I want to try it so let me get some. This is a cannelé. This is from Bordeaux. It's a specialty and it's kind of like tender and mushy in the middle. Let's see how good it is. Mmm! Mmm. <laughs> pretty good. Look inside. I'm glad we stopped. The outside is like kind of hard and crunchy. Is it like caramelized? Or? Yeah. Caramelized outside and in the middle is like very uh, like sweet and mushy cake. and spongy cake. Delicious. Worth every penny. That was $1.70, not expensive. This is what I love is you just go down these little narrow streets and then you find beautiful little homes like this with the bicycle and cute little babies like that. And just like the vines growing on the walls, um, the shuttered windows that are like crackling with paint. I love it. 
All right guys, so since Paul just went to the patisserie and got himself a little pastry, I had to go get mine. I went to Instant V Patisserie and got two little tarts. Um, and now we're gonna head to Domino's because they have vegan pizza. And that's where we're gonna end our night. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what we have in store, but we'll be taking you guys along with us and I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye. Hi guys, so we are at Pont de Go and we are seeing these beautiful flamingos right behind me. Um, so we are in Camargue and they have a whole bunch of marshes and mosquitoes. Ugh. Ah, get off my lens. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm super excited to be here. There's also like wild horses here. So we have a lot to see today. Um, it's a beautiful day because it's not too sunny out and it's just perfect weather. Um, but look at these beauties behind me. By the way, I'm here <laughs> too. I'm gonna be taking some photos on my Fujifilm today. Um, I'm gonna try to get some good photos, but I'm not, sure, I'm not sure that's gonna work. If there's any photo that's pretty good, decent, I'll put it on the screen and uh, show it along with the vlog. I read is that a lot of people mistake the middle part for their knees and it's actually their ankles so the birds are actually walking on their tippy toes and not on like a whole foot because that's their ankles how interesting is that what are you seeing over there one bird one bird hiding so it's really funny because Paul and I keep trying to capture them flying and we just cannot um, they'll fly right over us, but we don't have our cameras ready. It's very frustrating. Did you really think that something Magical just happens like that, huh? That's the behind the scenes. So we just pulled off the side of the road because there's a whole bunch of bulls over here. You can hear the bells on them. They're very, very cute. Actually, on our way um, to what is it called? Salam, Salam, something, something. What Paul said, and yeah, this is what we see behind us. This guy is just staring at us. He's so cute. I could sit here and have a picnic, but we're like literally on the side there's of the a road. big ditch right here on the side of the road. So, all right, this is getting sketchier and sketchier. If you really look around, it looks like an old like. Fa a factory place. Yeah, we're wa walking along like dirty water. It's just, I don't know why we're here and I don't know why we paid 20 bucks <laughs> to get here. I should just fly the drone so we could see I know, you can't what's really, around us or something. You can't really see, um, you see it's a tint of pink, but I feel like you can't really see it. Yeah, I don't think here. you can tell from the camera. I'm gonna fly the drone.
look up close here. All the white stuff you see on top of the water is the salt collecting. And this looks kind of gross, doesn't it? All right, this is our spot we're setting up. We're going to have a very romantic picnic. By the way, we're celebrating right here. our three-year anniversary. No. Come on, taste it. No. Do you I want it? <laughs> <laughs> it's very salty. salty. <laughs> actually learned to appreciate this. It's actually very beautiful here. Yeah, it looked so dingy when we first walked in that we thought like, why the hell are we here? <laughs> yeah. This is gross. Why did we pay 20 bucks to get in here? But at the end of the day, it's really beautiful. Yeah, we turned on a little side road and we just set up our picnic blanket. And I think also we were pretty hangry. So after we ate and we were sitting here, we were like, wow, it's actually really, really special. Like you don't really ever get to see something like this. So it was definitely worth the 20 euros. And yeah, I I would like to see more, but I'm actually really tired and- It's been a long day. <laughs> in order to get to like the end, it's a, I think a four mile walk. So we won't be doing that today, but I hope you guys enjoyed spending this weekend with us in Provence and we'll see you guys on the next video. And also don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below as well as it really helps support our channel and i'll see you guys later bye also oh, also okay if you like content about france or you want to see more we also have instagram accounts where we take a lot of photos about the south of france so if you want to check us out i'll put the link uh, in the description below and then also on the video you have our instagram handle so yeah if you're interested yeah. in seeing more follow us there all right bye guys see you next week